Paul Dormat made hundreds of millions of dollars. He is a horrible golfer, and he wants desperately to compete in a high-stakes golf tournament. I go in all these tournaments and pay the money. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I know I'm not winning. This is dumb. I wanna win. So I started the tournament. Al puts up all the money for the tournament, so he gets to make the rules. But there's just one rule. You have to have a handicap that's, that's bigger than Al's, and Al says he's a 17. The tournament he's created and bankrolled has attracted some of the worst golfers on the planet. My game recently, it's like I'd akin it to maybe like a Phil Mickelson, but righty. I thought this was going to be a little bit more upscale, you know, more, you know, our kind of people, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do a comparison. Mike Weir, the Canadian pro, finishes sixth at the PGA of America's championship and only makes $244,000. Our winner is going to make $250,000. Amazing. We decided to go online and play some poker. And uh, next thing I knew, I was down $165,000. It's like when the secretarian won, won the race. She didn't care about the money, she just wanted to win. I'm the same way. I want one of them big checks, you know, one of the big cardboard checks, you know? I want one of those. Not a little paper one, you know, a big ass check. Only 10 players can compete for the prize. One of them will be eliminated each hole. At the end of the day, one very oh. bad golfer will be $250,000 richer. Oh. This first bad shot on him. $250,000 for a guy to go out and beat a 15 on a hole. What it is, it's, it's, like, it's like if a dog, your dog in your house, craps on the floor and you end up giving him a biscuit.